Here's my setup. And everyone else is pretty similar. About 55, 60 pounds. <laughs> so hopefully we don't get anything. Fair country outdoors. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh boy. This is gonna be a good weekend. The days. I decided to plan this trip a while back. It ended up being me, Matt, and James. We are headed up into the Cascade Mountain Range, up into the Alpine to hunt some mountain blueberries. The trip overall, we were going out bear hunting, but we were also doing some scouting up in some alpine country, trying to see what we could see, try to find a new area, and just enjoying our time in the outdoors. Well, let's get there, let's not die. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting all excited, and I'm, I know. A, hor I'm a horrible driver. <laughs> I have no sense of direction driving and get way too distracted. I mean, my blueberries have been ripe for a while. I think James, you've been picking yours, so. Yeah, they're it's, getting, a little it's a little different, different kinds. I'm sure it's a little different but, up here, but <clears throat> mountain blueberries, you know, they're Last I heard, different um, the report was that they were just starting to come on in some spots, but that was higher than we're going. So I think with this heat, I think we should be pretty close. And there's like, I don't know, I want to say that there's like four or five different mountain peaks right around there. So we're going to be like right in a bowl, like an alpine bowl basically up there on the top when we get up there. Yeah, from what I could see, it looked like there was like, it was in a nice little trough right there and then it was surrounded by big yeah. berry fields. All right, so here we are, the trailhead. We're, uh, just getting loaded up here. Um, gonna be heading up the mountain here in a little bit. Here, here. You haven't actually looked at this, have you? I, I looked at that. I looked so, at those lakes big oh, so here's That's where we're staying, Doug. We're either gonna stay at that one or we're gonna go up to the big one. Okay. Look at that. Let's this go to the Yeah, let's do it. Bigger is better. I'm getting ready to head into the shit. I got my shoes on too tight. They hurt like shit. You don't need to break boots in, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Would you guys have brand new crispies? Hey, right. you can fit in, Matt. I think I stuck one there. Did you lose your keys already? I think so. No, the top one right here, Doug. Is there thing, the zipper right back there? No, it's on like right behind your head. Oh, is that where it is? Is there a belt on there? Yeah, your keys are in there. Okay. We're good. We're good. Doug, quit pulling on my back, it's heavy, it's shit! <laughs> I just rode up on some Devil's Club. That's fun. Here we are. I don't know, I think we're about four miles in right now. Still got about another three miles, four miles to go. 
Devil's Club. For all of you that don't know what Devil's Club is, they have barbs on their uh, on their uh, thorns here. So when you get one stuck in you, the barbs stick in and they break go off. all the way up on the leaves and they don't feel good. Yeah, Doug's sweating pretty good already. So am I. Heart sucks like a freaking nature. Mule. He's too excited. We're about four miles in. We're already in the Already on the berries. Berries are thick. So once we get up into the berry fields, we'll be doing a lot better, I believe. But yeah, all fun and games. Here Stay we go. Tuned. Five miles in now, almost. Recharging some batteries. Yeah, this is all good. Because we're getting out there. We're out there, all right. <laughs> we're uh, we're still below the alpine level, about a quarter mile below it, maybe, maybe less. Um, the KOA is up the creek. Blueberries are looking like they're gonna be good. Um, Matt is wearing his booty shorts. They got built in under britches <laughs> for fast wicked balls. This section is called Walking with Matt Hartsock, brought to you by Bear Country Outdoors. <laughs> what is it? What do you think, Matt? Hartsock Secrets. This is, this is God's country for his children. Enjoying it. Uh -huh. Sweating our asses off, but it's a hell of a time. Sure. Blueberries are ripe and delicious. And they're free. All you need is a forest pass. We're almost halfway there. We got a ways to go. Stay tuned. If you're not having fun and laughing and joking with your buddies when you're hunting, you're not doing it right. Go back and play no friendo. No friendo. <laughs> no friendo. No friendo. That's right. You want to listen to some jukebox? My response. Money? My response to that guy would be, I got two tickets to paradise. <laughs> Won't you pack your bags and we'll leave tonight? I got two tickets to paradise. Walking through spider webs. Well, if you yell loud enough and sing old songs while you're hunting, you can get in better closer to bears, I guess. It's top secret. Top secret. I would say if, you, if you've if you been hunting for bears for 40 years, and you've never been charged by a bear, you've probably not shot that many bears. Because going in on a wounded bear that is mobile, I'd say at least one out of one out of five times you're gonna get in a hairy situation. We're on our way to paradise. Bear paradise. Three tickets to paradise. Won't the, you pack your bags for the big we'll dogs leave roam. tonight? <laughs>
man. It's like air conditioning. Oh. That feels really good. I like it right Nature's there. air conditioning right on a creek bed. So one thing I do really like about these Everly Stock Vapor Series packs is that not only do they have the whole top opens up so you can put everything inside, but if you bury something in the bottom or you want to access something, like I put all my water at the very bottom like an idiot, you get these side pouches and you can access your water. I'll take one of those. And then they have kind of an elasticity to the, to the pack itself in the front. So you can zip it up really easily again. Legit. We're gearing up Ready for the final up. ascent, which is the shit. straight up the face of this mountain. And then we'll be up on the ridge. And then we got to get to our spot at the lake. So, about two thirds of the way there. So, doing pretty good. Yeah, doing all right. Feeling good. Refueled the meal, some gas for me ass, some fuel for the meal. Point it on a turn, Doug? Yeah, that we are. We're in the shit, big we're, time. We're in a big time. Blazing our own trail. No trails. Like a bunch of mountain men. Steep country in here. Very steep country. It's swollen. <laughs> I should have wore pants. <laughs> Cause this is the cowboy trail. The cowboy trail. We're taking the cowboy trail. Ready? Come on, Dougie. It's the last bit. This trail is nice. Pull him up. Come on, <laughs> pull him. God, he, he's much heavy. <laughs> ah, we're here. Look at where we started, Doug. Way down there. There's a, wow. there's a river somewhere down there. Okay. Down at the very, very, very bottom. What a shithole. Look how straight down that is. Woo! Look at that. It like right here levels off a little bit, then oh it's just gosh. straight down. A couple of points I thought this is pretty much impossible. We need to just make camp, eat a dinner, call it, call this. And tomorrow we'll be walking down. Someone walking on it. I'm not getting off of it. What's uh on. what's the rule about alpine bear hunting? Never take, take a the shortcut. cowboy trail. Never take a, the cowboy trail. <laughs> Unless Follow. you want to die yes. or you're a cowboy. Oh, God. We only got so much cowboy left because we had to Just go about spend it all. We spent all of our cowboys. Uh, yep. I was having to play mind tricks on myself to keep going. I was like, I'm making tent. I'm eating. <laughs> it's almost 4 30. We, we got four more hours till dark. Yeah. It's okay. We should be there within an hour. Yeah. We'll be I there think. within an hour. We're going to fly now. Yeah. Whew. Fair country now. outdoors. Yep. Where we take the cowboy trail. Costco dog? Yeah, there Costco dog would be really good about now. So would a big old fat slice of pizza or and a f ice cold beer. Ice cold beer. <laughs> <laughs> Victory of making it to paradise. We are the only human Two beings that ever to go up that, that side of the mountain. There's no other human being that went up there. No, no, no one else has been up here. They would die. No one went up the cowboy trail we went up. There wasn't any trail. There was no trail. It was no. this. Definition this of is cowboy the cowboy trail. trail. <laughs> this is the cowboy trail, and we took the trail from hell. 3,000 feet of in four and a half hours. <laughs> yeah. Straight up, straight, straight up, up, straight down. Holding on to dear life it with 60 something. pounds on our back. <laughs> 60 pounds straight up. Straight up. Incline like that. 
anything steeper and it was physically impossible. So, now that we've made it up into the alpine area, here blueberry patches, we are uh, moving at a pretty good pace. They're climbing up a 3,000 foot elevation gain straight from the river bottom in less than a half a mile stretch. So to say the least, we're a little spent after that, but we're feeling good now that we're walking on this trail and uh, we're up in the blueberries. So now we can uh, make something happen. Stay tuned. I didn't know we were going to the top of the world. I mean, look at this. Oh, blueberries, look at that. Would you look at that? Look at all these blueberries. Would you, would you look at that? All right, boys, you're in the right time. Should be doing pretty good. Doug's like one of the bears. These ones are blueberries. Mm. Here, eat a handful of those ones. Parts of it. I'm so dehydrated to get up here. Got onto the trail, heading down to the final destination. And James spots a big ass bear standing on the hillside. Giant, absolute giant bear. Like one of the biggest bears I think I've ever seen. It looks like a Volkswagen bug. <laughs> dude, he is so big. He's looking right at us. He's so big, dude. He's got a big melon head. Absolute giant of a black bear. Don't bump that truck on. Now he's feeding. Get that thing. We need to kill him, dude. How are we gonna kill him? How would we kill him? He's so far up there. We're not making a play on him today. <laughs> no. I don't. I don't think it's possible unless we go down and get water and he's still up there. It's almost 7 o'clock. By the time we get up there, it'd be dark. dark. Yeah, let's just video him here for a minute. He ain't going to go anywhere, I don't think. You can see him with the naked eye. They're big. Just like that. He's long. He is he's long. He's not like super fat. He will be. But he's got a giant head. He's super long. And jet black. 
It's got a nice blunt brown muzzle. This actually might be a darker muzzle, I don't know. It's a muzzle pretty dark. Let's get moving. He's at where he's at right now, and we're completely out of water, and we have to get down to this lake to get water. We've been out without, without water for about almost two hours now. We're all really dehydrated, so. Um, get down to the lake. We gotta get down to the lake, get some water, this and then we're gonna giant bear. come up with a game plan. But giant bear. this bear is huge, oh. and he's up there. You know why he's huge? Because he's lived up there, and no one in their right mind's going out there. <laughs> well, he's in trouble this weekend, I'll tell you that. Mm -hmm. Ah, oh, here we are, finally. It took us literally all day. I'm obliterated. <laughs> we're all obliter obliterated. But we're here. This is the spot, There's fish jumping everywhere. Behind us. We got fresh water right here. Well, here we are, Saturday morning, our first real day in here. Sun's just coming up. Almost able to make out some of the things on the hillsides and such. Um, Still not quite enough light. A little not, smoky. Not quite. A little smoky in here today it makes visibility a little difficult. A little hard, but we got our uh, chip oils going. I'm gonna get a cup of coffee real quick. Get some Blackbeard's Delight going. And then uh, we're gonna head up the mountain, start glassing, see if we can't turn up one of these bears. It was a rough hike in here yesterday. We did see one really nice bear, but. Jeez, bear. <laughs> Whoops. So here we are, getting ready. Like rifle people are probably gonna laugh our asses off at us. <laughs> Why? Because we don't have anything to make it really. So we forgot. The uh, little uh, 
filter thing that we have for doing coffee. So thank you. We had to improvise. So what I did is I made these little bags, and I'm gonna try to dump them in here, dump the water in here, and then dip these bags. So we'll see if it works. Not there, looks like a solid, solid cup of spring water coffee. All right, boys, got our bags ready. It's time to go kill a bear. Time to go kill Top a bear. Of the Top of the morning. Not really much of a view here, though, in this place. Is there, Matt? Mm. The smoke's really gonna mess with this. Backyard spotty. If you look through it, it's just ugly looking. Mm hmm. If it was without the smoke, it would collapse in there. Look at this. We got this creek coming in from two sides. We got a snow bank over here we can bury our bear in once we get it to keep it cool today. glassing position here.
What do you got there? Nice. Lunch? Lunch? Long arm it. Ooh, that's a dandy. They fight like a mother. So what are we doing, Doug? Well, we're gonna head over to where we saw the Cowboy biggest. Trail, the biggest black bear you ever did see. And we're gonna hope that he comes on down and we're gonna Give him a little dose of the 180. Ah. It ain't gonna do it if it makes sounds like some more extra sugars when you're out hiking all day. It's always good to get some natural resources, some berries. Yeah, there's a lot of berries here. Fields of berries. Fields, Fields of berries. And we're little, running a little of food, so. A little dessert here. Yep. Packed up. This is the last last morning. Um, we have to hike our way out of here. About what is it, Doug? So you don't want to know. You don't want to know. Double <laughs> digits. Double digits. <laughs> I think we got a ways to go. Quite, pretty close to 12 miles. Um, so we're gonna hunt our way out and hopefully shoot one like halfway, so we don't have to pack it out all the way. That's the plan. Over and out. Goodbye, Alpine Lake. to our uh, physical abilities on this trip. It was a fun time, it was really hard, and I would do it again any day.